oven and you're finished. And then you just have to have your sides, which you could do ahead. So there's just nothing to it. Stuffed venison meatloaf. For this recipe, we have one pound of ground venison and one pound of very lean ground beef. I've sauteed some onions and garlic already on the stove. I have some breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of salt, and a half of a tablespoon of pepper. I have three eggs. And the best utensil is your hand. Okay, and get that very, very good and incorporated. Now, I will proceed to the next step. I have a seal pat, and I am going to lay this on the seal pat and make this loaf right now a half inch thick. And I'm going to spread it to 16 inches by 10. And then we're going to layer some ingredients on top of this. Most people put meatloaf in a bread pan, but it sits in its own juices that way, and it doesn't get brown all the way around the edges, and it's just kind of a bunch of mush. So this is going to get brown on the outside, and it's going to be very, very yummy on the inside. Okay, now it's time to put the stuffing in. First thing we're going to do is put our spinach leaves down, and I'm going to leave about an inch border around the perimeter of the meat. When you cut into this, it's just beautiful. It's got green and orange and white, and then the color of the meat, it's just, it's just beautiful. Now I'm going to layer the mozzarella. And now, the carrots. The carrots are julienne, and they have been in boiling water for about eight minutes to go ahead and get them softened. Now it's time to roll the meat. We're going to get the seal pad or your wax paper and just lift it a little bit and go ahead and get it onto the next, and you'll want to try to roll it into a tight roll. I kind of like to turn it around and have this side also meet the other side. Okay, and you'll just tuck in your sides. All right, and the next thing you'll do is take your meatloaf and roll it onto a cooling rack on the sheet pan. Now, I have some bacon that I'm going to lay across. I like to kind of measure it and then just cut the bacon to fit the top of the meatloaf. This gives it a little bit of added uh, fat, which really helps the flavor. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and I am going to just place this right in the oven for about one hour. And then you are done and ready for guests. If you're going to have them, this is a great meal to have because it's such an elegant comfort food. Right. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for an hour at 400 degrees. I find that you can use the simplest ingredients and make the best meal. You don't ever have to sacrifice taste just because you use simple ingredients. Just use great ingredients. Use local and fresh ingredients and you're going to have a great dish. It's been an hour, so our meatloaf should be done. Okay. And it looks beautiful and smells gorgeous. I'm going to cut a few slices and let you see the beauty of the inside of this. Right. Stuffed venison meatloaf. 